the vehicle that has sparked so much controversy on the internet. Whether you're a car lover or not, you'll know something about this vehicle purely because of this grill. I don't know how BMW does it because on paper, this car looked like a caricature. And I'm sure there's somebody in Germany right now that is sitting there saying, I told you so. Because in real life, these lines actually work. The size of this grill and the way the headlights are formed around the grill and how the rest of the bumper works around it, it actually looks good. And that is exactly what BMW wanted to do with this vehicle. Whether you like it or not, they want you to know that this is a 4 Series. Moving on to the rear of this vehicle, this is for me where I think BMW really got this car right. You see elements of the current 3 Series, you see elements of the BMW 8 Series, and overall, the back of this car looks very good. As you can see, this is the M440i, so this is a vehicle that sits right underneath the upcoming M4. But again, it doesn't look like a car that screams performance. Perhaps though, when we drive the vehicle, it's going to be a different story. But before we jump into the vehicle, I want to point your attention to this badge here that says X-Drive. But we'll touch on that as we're driving the vehicle. But please remember, because that is a very, very important part of this car. So if I do this, and I do this, as you can hear, that is a six cylinder and BMW have always done right when it comes to this engine. So, I've got the difficult task now to find out how good this car is as a performance vehicle. So it's quite interesting, when you jump into this vehicle and you start it up, when you're on the outside of the car, it's very loud. But the moment you jump inside, this car is dead quiet. I mean, I'm struggling to even hear the six-cylinder engine. I can hear it slightly purring away. And again, that's not a bad thing because this is not an M car. It's an M performance car. So it needs to do two jobs. Whereas an M car is meant to be hardcore all the time. And yes, can be driven daily, but leans more on the hardcore side. A car such as this needs to do many other things. And the more that I drive this vehicle, the more I realize where BMW is going with this car. This car feels more like a GT vehicle. And the way it feels like a luxurious occasion really makes you enjoy this vehicle when you're driving it in a normal mode like this. But the good thing about having this engine is that when you are in a rush and you put this car in sport, now you unlock a whole different type of personality. Zero to 100 will take you four and a half seconds. And I can feel that. This vehicle's just got a way of hiding how fast you're going. And the real reason why that is the case is because of what we mentioned when we're outside of the car. Yes, X drive. And yes, that system plays a very important role in this car. It is BMW's version of a four wheel drive system. And what that means is that I've got more traction in a high-powered vehicle such as this. When you are driving quite enthusiastically, the car doesn't feel like it wants to understeer, which is a very good thing because many four-wheel drive systems tend to make a vehicle understeer, especially if you come with too much speed around the corner. Overall, I must say that I'm quite impressed with this entire package. Now, in this segment, we know we've got the likes of the Audi S5 and we've got the Mercedes-Benz C43 AMG. And if I look at all three of those competitors, I'd say the Mercedes-Benz is the most exciting to drive. It makes all the right noises and it feels just that much more alive. But what this vehicle has is the balance between the two. This car really is a very complete package. And for those looking for performance and comfort, this is a very nice car. Mm -hmm. 